Switcher Certificate in part association with Change Cars. Change Cars is a trusted online website because they work with trusted dealers and the best insure in South Africa. Discovery Insure. Welcome back to Switcher South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always and I'm wearing my slides. You guys know me, I'm a big fan of slides. So today we end finally my very first Toyota um, test car. Um, this is the Hilux GRS GR sport essentially so i'm gonna tell you the same thing you need to know about this vehicle so we're gonna speak about the extra look of the vehicle hence i'm outside i'm gonna jump inside interior tell you the drive of the vehicle and the things i like the things i don't like and my recommendation and cost of ownership but um i've told you about this car let me show you what i really like about this car in terms of the looks come with me so my favorite part of this vehicle when it comes to the vehicle exterior as a whole is the look of the vehicle in terms of front because that's where the major changes are well, for this vehicle so so the gr you get the gr badging over there you get this um fake carbon fiber but the real carbon fiber is actually inside but on the outside you get this this carbon fiber effect and i just like the look of the vehicle in front because when it's coming to you you can tell it's a as a hilux but what which hilux is you can tell there's gr sport hilux or grs hilux so i like that about the car in front because that's where the major change is looking at the back it looks like a normal um legend hilux so you there's not really much of a difference unless if you pick up the the gr the gr badging all over the car and speaking of gr badging i'm gonna speak i'm gonna jump into the vehicle but i want you guys right now comment down below how many GR badges you think this car has and I'll tell you at the end of this video. So now you guys join me inside the interior of the Hilux GRS. Um, so I'm going to speak about the interior and I'll tell you every single thing you need to talk about the vehicle. So interior, you're not going to be shocked when you get into this vehicle and the interior because there's nothing wow in terms of like, you see when you get into a Ford for example, you get that whole iPad design, digital instrument cluster. So Toyota is stuck to what has worked for them and what has gotten themselves and is literally analog dials and the screen this screen you're literally gonna see it in other toyota vehicles like the uh, to toyota corolla previous gen uses the same thing so they've stuck to their system and i think it's working for them hence the amount of hiluxes are being sold so in terms of the interior quality the car does feel good it's a good place to be but you're not gonna be wowed in terms of the technology the features and all of that ford is superior in, in that regard and i'm gonna and speak about the ford ranger because i literally had it like a month ago and that's its direct competitor including the uh, issue um the issues of v-cross as well so i'm gonna reference a lot to the ranger because that's what you guys want to know and i'm gonna give you that as well so where those cars appear over the ford interior it has to be with the seats the seats look beautiful they feel beautiful in this specific one that i mean the the grx obviously so they look beautiful it gets the job done they feel good as well and they have this um suede alcantara finish you know so, so it's leather but part um alcantara suede finish so i like that about the vehicle the seats feel amazing much better than the ones found in the the ranger wild track or even the xlt that i had um obviously when you get into a raptor it's something different and we're not gonna speak about the raptor because that'll be unfair so interior seats this is where it's more um more comfortable intro design and everything in terms of like the instrument cluster steering wheel all of those features the ford is superior in that regard and then looking to the drive of the vehicle drive of the vehicle i need to tell you about the the engine first and the engine toyota is a 2.8 um liter turbo diesel turbo diesel engine and this engine cooks cooks when I say cook, I mean like it's good. Like you, it gets the job done from from the get go. It goes. And something that I actually had a change of heart with was the gearbox. So before I got the vehicle, I know that Toyota uses like naming GD6, so you know that it's a six-speed automatic gearbox. So I was not a fan before I got the vehicle that they're using a six-speed gearbox. I'm like, why is it a six-speed gearbox? You know, I was not a fan of that. But having been in this vehicle, I've never been. To a point where i actually want more from the vehicle you know in terms of the the gearbox like and it's quick like i'm sure you guys should be hearing how quick it is um the gearbox so speaking of about the gearbox as well every gear change this car has like a kick in terms of like uh when you go into the next gear it kicks you from behind and that makes the whole driving experience of the vehicle nice and enjoyable so this vehicle i've honestly been enjoying it I didn't think I'd enjoy this vehicle as much as I've enjoyed it now. So most of the power of the vehicle, the car produces 165 kilowatts and 550 newton meters of torque. So comparing that to the Ford Ranger 2 liter bio turbo that I had on test, I think that's 154. That's so that's a good. Let's do that math. Nine kilowatts more than that. Those nine nine kilowatts more than that, and then it has 50 more newton meters of torque than the Ranger. 
and honestly you do feel it like this car goes it's quick this bucky and then every gear there's that kick you know so i do like the fact that they've up the power so they've really matched ford in terms of the power and i do feeling wise i'm not sure on paper but feeling wise this car feels quicker than the ford by turbo not the v6 because the v6 is honestly something else so in terms of the drive and the ride quality of the vehicle um i've honestly enjoyed driving this vehicle for what the vehicle is in terms of how it feels so comfort wise right the vehicle is comfortable and but it's not as comfortable as like a ford this this vehicle tends to bounce more than uh the, than the ford for example especially on the rear rear suspension but that's not on like day-to-day -day driving when you do off-roading that's where you feel that the ford is more comfortable more planted if that makes sense but day-to-day -day driving literally this car is comfortable they've made a big upgrade from the legend 50 because i've driven a legend 50 briefly and that one was not as comfortable as this one so they did a huge upgrade and you do feel it you know so when i say the ford is more comfortable that doesn't that doesn't mean i'm saying this is, un is uncomfortable this is actually quite comfortable you know so i do understand why people actually do buy the, the toyota but toyota is known for that one thing like it's that one thing that made them blow up from here to lord knows where is the reliability and speaking on the reliability toyota offers a standard three year three year hundred thousand hundred thousand kilometer warranty and then they offer a nine service right so you get nine services for the vehicle so ninety thousand essentially so ninety thousand nine service do their math when they service the vehicle every ten thousand kilometers you service your vehicle so that's where toyota is confident they, they know their vehicle obviously you can extend all of this stuff um so speaking about the price of the vehicle i'm gonna speak about the price of the vehicle so you guys are wondering what the price of the vehicle i'm gonna speak about that later on actually when i do my recommendation and i tell about the the cost of ownership but i'm gonna speak about three things i like and three things i don't like about this vehicle and starting off with the bad you know how we do decide the bad three things i don't like about this vehicle it has to be one thing that i really noticed the sound system of this piece of vehicle for nine hundred and eighteen thousand rand i just told you the price my bad but for that amount of money i would expect the sound system of, the, of this vehicle to be better that's one thing i don't like the interior of the vehicle i expected to be better um toyota could have really done more into making sure that you feel like you know very nice interior there's a, there's a second thing i don't like and i honestly don't necessarily have a third thing i don't like the things i like about the vehicle one that i like about the vehicle is the exterior of the vehicle it looks very beautiful i like that about the vehicle one the second thing i like about the vehicle is the drive of the vehicle it feels good like it's a you know it's a nice vehicle to drive like you will enjoy driving this vehicle on a day-to-day -day basis i've enjoyed driving it for the past few days i've had it and the third thing i don't like is the third thing i like i mean is the seats the seats feel good it's a good place to be it gets the job done you feel comfortable on to my recommendations those three important questions do i like the car would i buy the car would i recommend the car do i like the car yes two would i buy the car no because there is the the ford and pricing of this vehicle is also another thing why i wouldn't buy the vehicle and i'll speak more about that later on and, and then my recommendation i would recommend this vehicle because not everyone is gonna want all the fancy gadgets and things that the ford comes with sometimes you want something a while a, a oiled machine something that you know is going to give you what what you want and there is a rep sheet of the vehicle in terms of the toyota toyota is known for reliability toyota is known for insane off-roading so if you're that type of person you're definitely going to want to buy this vehicle and that speaks to the type of consumer you are so i personally am not the type of person i like classy things i like you know the funny thing the the, the gimmicks if that makes sense so put a huge tv screen here you're gonna you're gonna win me as a as a, as a customer but other people don't like it other people literally like my dad is, a, is an example he prefers this layout and there's a reason why he would buy this over the, the ford but i'd buy the ford you know so it depends on the type of person you are hence i would recommend it and so cost of ownership for this vehicle right this car is priced at 918,000 rand and over a five year period with the interest rate of 12.25 percent um because there's no need for you to be paying a vehicle for over five years but i stick to five years you know so over five years you're looking at monthly repayments of this vehicle of 20,500 rand and if you put in the fuel of this vehicle if you're gonna use one 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 fuel uh one fuel tank a, a month to fill it up this vehicle is around 1.7 1.7 thousand rand so factor that into your monthly premium and all of that 
you're looking at for the for the vehicle and the fuel you're looking at 22,000 rand around 22,200 which is how much this car is going to cost you on a monthly basis you factor insurance depending on the type of person you are insurance will be 1,000 2,000 3,000 you factor all of that so essentially at lowest for this vehicle you should be looking at making payments of 22,000 rand and i've told you everything you need to know about the vehicle that important question and i know you guys want to know but i did mention it which one would i go for i would go for the ford ranger which one would you go for and that's a question for you guys so comment down below which one you'd go for and we'll take it from there <laughs> signing out oh quick insert i forgot to tell you how many gr sport badges this vehicle has so in terms of that this car has 17 gr sport badging all over and the 18th one is this one the one on the key so yeah <laughs> you guys will decide but yeah signing out officially signing out